Hi, I'm Mary Ann Bonetti, and these are my helpers today. I have three helpers, Juliana, Ellie, and Casey, and they are going to teach us about how to make a fairy garden, because any kid could have a fairy garden in the summertime. So, Juliana, tell us, what's the first step? The first step is to gather your materials. So, today we have our moss, our little toys, and our rocks that we will put in our, our containers. Okay, so Ellie, after we have the materials, what do you do next to start? Next, you want to put your moss in your, your, your spot in your container, and then you can put rocks down and make sure so that when it gets windy, you can it doesn't fly away because moss is very light. Great. Oh, so, Juliana, now you have your moss down, and what do we do next? What have you done here? Well, I'm starting to decorate my fairy garden so it will look pretty and have good Wait, And what are you using for decorations? I am using flower, flowers, miniature flowers, rocks, leaves, and little toys. Oh, I love that because you don't really have to go buy anything. You could just use things that you already have. You don't have to go buy things for a fairy garden. And Ellie, what is our final tip you do when you're done with your fairy garden? Finally, step four is to carefully water your fairy garden. Next, you can use a watering can and a mist. So if you have an indoor houseplant moss garden, you can use a spray bottle of water because it's really, really fun for younger kids to water with a spray bottle. And so, finally, girls, do you have any final tips on your moss fairy gardens? Um, I would say that little kids can kind of make some mess, so I would say doing it outside, but if you do not have a place outside to do it on, you could do it inside totally, you just, like on your kitchen table, something, you just put a tablecloth or newspapers or whatever paper you have so you don't get your table dirty. Okay, and Ellie, what's your final ideas on design? You, if you want, you can change your design every day, and yours doesn't have to look like ours. And you don't have to have drainage holes in your containers because it moss doesn't have any roots. Which is really a great way to do it because you can water and it won't put water all over. Moss actually likes the moist soil. So thank you so much, girls. There's many kinds of fairy gardens. We have another one in our yard that's actually planted with real plants. You can make a great big dish garden uh, with real plants, but just using moss and flowers and recycled toys, a great summer project that any kid could do. This has been Mary Ann Bonetti with Easy Answers for Great Gardens. If you enjoyed these gardening tips, subscribe to our channel so you can get updates on new videos and stay in the know about all things gardening. Click the red subscribe button below. See the description below for more information about how to connect with us on plantersplace.com, Facebook, and Instagram.